Greetings and welcome to Comic Book Greetings out there, Mike from Comic Brian here and welcome everybody to my comic review. In this review, I'll be reviewing a Marvel comic book which is related to Marvel Legacy tie-in. And uh, as you can see, I don't have a physical copy with me at the moment. So instead of it being a physical review, I'll be reviewing this digitally. And as you can see from the title, I'll be reviewing Luke Cage, issue number 166, Cage, part 1. Here's the cover. And I also took picture of the artwork that's in this comic, which I felt, in my opinion, was really great artwork. That I must admit, when I did read this issue. So if you guys see me looking uh, over here with the, uh, you know, with that, I have the uh, digital comic on my laptop. So don't mind me if I'm looking this way, because I want to give you guys. A little bit of a brief review, but just to let you guys know what happened uh, in this comic book. So, after the whole New Orleans thing of what Luke Cage went through, he decided to go for, you know, a little road trip in his car, where he encounters with a police officer. And he told the police officer that he is Luke Cage, who is one of their kind, which is the Avengers. So then after uh, him and... The cop had a talk. He actually said to on his uh, walkie-talkie that uh, there seems to be uh, that they're gonna have a problem after he drove away. That's what he said. So when Luke Cage went to this cafe to order what he wanted, somebody behind a TV screen is actually looking on and sees that he's there, saying that they have trouble on his on their hands. And uh, something has to be uh, done about it. So uh, this woman who talks to him says that uh, she's noticed that there's uh, been uh, a big problem. Like <clears throat> the husband like works at a prison and stuff like that. And uh, that's not really the thing because uh, her mind has been like uh, knowing that if she was either awake or dreaming... Like, it's like a whole big thing. Like, if you wanted to uh, know more about it, you'll have to uh, read the comic book to see. But uh, it was really a uh, sad story. But after the whole story, the uh, squ police squad come in. And Luke is like saying, look, I don't know if there's been like a, you know, there's been a misunderstanding. Let's just, you know, talk this over and calm down. And, of course, they didn't want to uh, calm everything down. And then... After they shot him, when he tried to calm him down like two or three times, now they got him really pissed off. And what he does is he just wails on him. And like he said in this comic, you know, he did not start this. They did. So after uh, all that happened, uh, they uh, threw a gas on Luke Cage. And let's just say they got him there. And they took the lady also uh, into custody as well. So we see that Luke Cage is somewhere, and we don't know where he is. He's like in a circle or in a spotlight or something. And the person who actually saw him behind the TV screen, he goes by the name of, I believe, Maynard Taboyet. He looks like a ringmaster, which he, he, he does look like that, if you, because I showed you one in the uh, artwork. So he's just trying to... Uh, you know, uh, get into his mind because this was probably like the story that the woman was talking about and uh, he's like saying, you know, I'm helping you, making your life simpler as uh, he starts new life and the new life when he wakes up turns out to be a nightmare because now he belongs to Menard with the mind reading so when he wakes up, he wakes up in this prison where the guards are abusing him and beating him up and stuff like that and uh, I'll tell you, like, if you go to sleep and if you wake up to, like, a nightmare, I could imagine, you know, what uh, that's like. Because this is, like, really brutal and horrible. So as he's, like, saying that this is all, like, a big mistake and whatnot, they just say, well, you gotta be on your feet because in the cell, it said that this is your new home. And that's to be continued next time in Hell in the Cell. And... That's to be continued, and there's a preview cover, which I did not get, so let me just uh, 
take a second to uh, get that for the next preview cover. So I really, um, I mean, this was like a really um, awesome issue, I must say. And this is a preview cover to the uh, next issue of Luke Cage, Behind Bars. And they also give you like a uh, preview of uh, what's to come in the next issues or so, or just like a little bit of a backstory, and then that's the end of the book. So for uh, this comic book, um, it was a little bit of a fast read, but um, it seems that uh, Luke Cage is uh, was a big threat to the police squad, and someone that was looking for him, well. Now he belongs to the guy's uh, mind reading mind. So, uh, the rating I give for this issue, I would say 4 out of 5 stars. There was uh, great artwork and a great story as well. And I would recommend you guys pick this up if you, you've been reading Luke Cage all along like I have. It's a Marvel Legacy tie in, so, you know, it could be a jump on friendly uh, comic book, but. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens uh, in the next issue, and uh, we'll go from there. But um, I would say I recommend this, only if you're a Luke Cage fan. If not, then you won't, but it's up to you guys. So with that, everybody, that's my Marvel Legacy tie-in review of Luke Cage, issue number 166, Caged Part 1. Before I go, don't forget to check out source of ComicFrontline.com, ZombieFrontline.com. And a YouTube game channel, Fun Gaming Zone. We are all your number one source for comic and game related news, views, and a whole bunch more. Click that subscribe button so it'll be in your subscription boxes and won't miss out on any videos that we upload, such as Marvel Legacy tie in that we are covering each and every week for that event. And as always, uh, if you would like to leave your comments in the comment section about this comic book, your likes, your dislikes, agree or disagree with what I say, or if there's anything that I missed that you would like to point out that jumped out to you. Or anything else, please feel free to leave in the comments section. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And to all you comic book readers out there, my comic friend is saying take care. And as always, don't forget, keep watching. Later, everybody.